be a pelican, not a pelican. Look at that sun coming up. Okay, let's get you some gas, baby. I can see you're thirsty. Hi, friends and adventurers. Heather here from Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And it is a crappy day outside right now. It is ugly and cloudy and drizzly and dismal and all of those kind of things. <laughs> but that's not stopping me from being excited because I am going to be, hopefully if all goes well, parking at a place that I have been hoping to park at for a while now. So fingers crossed that all goes smoothly and that it's a success. And I don't know if you can see behind me or not, but Tara got a bit of a makeover. In 600 feet, you will arrive at... Oh dear, there seems to be a roadblock. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Egrets. Thank you. Thank you. Trying to come through. Excuse me. Okay, it looks like there's tons of parallel parking all along the right side. There's the Sunshine Skyway Bridge there off to the right. I can't wait to see that all lit up tonight and to watch the pelicans and the dolphins. Lots of trash cans, that's good. I'm thinking that building up there is some more restrooms. It would be nice to actually have some flush toilets. the bait shop which is apparently open 24 hours Now to find a spot that is close to a trash can, a restroom, and ideally has a curb on one side, and a good view of the bridge. Okay, so technically my ideal spot is behind me. I am counting on the fact that I think the car that's parked there right now is not going to stay. They're fishing and I doubt that they're gonna stay overnight because it's a very small car and it doesn't look like it's set up for camping. So I'm hoping that I can just back right on up as soon as they leave. That's the plan. But for now, I'm gonna get out and look around a little bit. Go for a little walk. 
Yay, my plan worked. They're leaving. They just loaded up and she's pulling out right now. So I'm gonna back in as soon as she's gone. I am loving the view out the back of Terra. How cool is that to watch? I'm just going to sit in here with the lights out for a little while and enjoy that until I'm ready for dinner. Oh man, I wish I would have gotten that yacht underneath the bridge. That would have made the coolest photograph. Hi friends, just checking in real quick. I am hydrating and look, I match my bedding. Well, you can't really see that right now, but you've seen my bedding before, so you know. Anywho, I'm getting ready to make a very gourmet dinner. As you can see, there's still people fishing behind me, so I don't wanna keep the light on for too long. I'm gonna boil up some water with my tea kettle here real quick. As you can see, Tara has gotten quite the makeover, so you'll have to stay tuned on a future episode to hear more about that coming soon. Okay, anywho, I'm getting hungry, hangry, so time to get to cooking, aka boiling water, and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right. All right, not too bad. Good morning, friends. As you can see, I'm still enjoying my view. <laughs> I actually slept with the back cover off, which is something I never do in a place that's not like a campsite where I have privacy. But I just loved the view and I just had the lights off inside of Tara and it was so bright outside that I didn't really um, worry too much about anybody looking in since there was only a few other people and this is a well patrolled area. <clears throat> the sky looks so cool right now. I'm about to show you. It's just the teeniest hint of dawn starting to show. <clears throat> I slept great. The traffic noise basically was just white noise. It was so peaceful. There were no disruptions. There was nobody like right outside of my vehicle being loud. Highly recommend. I don't know if this is the norm since this is my first time staying here, but it was very peaceful, very quiet. Um, it's so convenient because there's trash cans everywhere right outside. 
I parked pretty conveniently next to a bathroom so I wouldn't have too far to walk if I needed to go and everything's so well lit that I actually felt safe if I needed to go in the middle of the night because again you have to go through the ranger station to even come onto the pier and it is well patrolled so with all the lights and the fact that there are constantly people coming and going even though it you know it's not like it's crowded in the middle of the night there is a steady flow of traffic coming and going so I felt very safe I think it's supposed to be eight dollars for a 24-hour parking pass but she only charged me three so it was three dollars and 21 cents to stay here not too bad <clears throat> I already showed you the bathrooms. They were surprisingly clean. Um, so now let me show you what the sky looks like right now. Check that out. Not too bad. So initially I was going to drive to Fort DeSoto right when it opened, but I kind of want to experience sunrise on the pier since I never have. And then just head over to the fort for some birding. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Got this lovely view in front of me. And this lovely view behind me. So I think I'm going to enjoy it for a bit. Maybe I'll even make my coffee here. I was going to wait until I got to the park and make it there, but I'm liking this. All right, I'm going to give you one more panoramic view, and then I'm going to get started on this coffee. I love how they light the bridge up at night. Sorry about the shakiness there. Of course I came over here to show you guys the dolphins and now they're not jumping around. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a couple of great egrets perched on top of that van. <laughs> That's the bait shop down there at the end. And of course, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. The lights are now off. Look at that sun coming up.
It's a beautiful morning. Did I mention what a pretty morning it is yet? <laughs> Oh my gosh, the weather is perfect too. It's 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Breezy. I was a little worried about the wind last night, but it ended up not being bad at all. I'm so glad I stayed for sunrise. That was definitely worth it. I would have to say that that's probably the best $3.21 I've ever paid for a campsite. <laughs> Boy, this pier didn't seem this long last night. <laughs> that's what she said. I mean, it is the world's largest fishing pier, Heather. Honestly, I could just sit here all day and watch the dolphins and the pelicans. Do you see the view out the back of my van? Oh, I love it. I'm definitely going to come back here. This will definitely be a return spot for sure. <laughs> Do you see this line of birds? <laughs> Little goobers. Opportunistic. Mostly turns. For every season, turn, turn. I wish I could really convey the full scale of this fishing pier to you all. It's really quite impressive. Even if you don't plan on overnighting here, I definitely recommend visiting if you're in the area just to take in the views. And it's really cool to see the dolphins and the pelicans and just watch the birds. And of course, if you like to fish, it's good for that too. <laughs> I definitely spotted a few other car campers and van lifers for sure. But down towards the end of the pier, there was hardly anybody by the time it got to be about 10 o'clock. I was worried that it might be kind of like a party-ish, you know, have a lot of loud people, but... Not at all. I guess that's the Fisher Pier Kitty. It was random. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that makes me sad. Cat Crossing. There's all these feral kitties there. Please spay and neuter your pets. 